You could have superpowers right now without even knowing. I took weeks reading over a hundred scientific reports from Harvard, Stanford, and the world's leading geneticists. And I found something unbelievable. Real mutations already found in human DNA are giving people superpowers. And you could be carrying one. I'll be going through all of the genetic mutations that you could have and signs that you have them. But before I do that, this is Keith. I will be giving him every single one of these mutations, and we're gonna see what kind of beast he becomes at the end. The MSTN gene mutation. If you were born with this mutation, you have natural steroids. MSTN is responsible for creating myostatin, a protein responsible for telling your body when to stop building muscle. Why? Because it sucks, like a vacuum. That's right, I said it. A mutation to this sucky gene could cause a lack of myostatin, which means no stop signal. Which means it's muscle party time. Naturally doubling muscle production and strength without even any training. It's the perfect bodybuilding mutation. However, who ordered this side of effects? I didn't. Keith. Uh, oh, what? Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be just fine. All right, so side effects. Turns out there isn't any, making the host of this mutation simply superhuman with zero drawbacks. That's great, you got, you got lucky, Keith. As I was saying, super muscles. Sure, we could genetically engineer the gene into people like Keith, but some people are born with it, like pro strongman Eddie Hall. Yes, he actually has the mutation, pretty cool. But do you have this mutation? Time for a mutation check. Statistically, about 32,248 people in the world have this mutation. Signs you have this mutation include increased muscle mass, lower body fat, above average strength, subscribe to Almond the Artist, and earlier development of muscle. So, if you have any of these traits, you may have the MSTN gene mutation. Which reminds me, on top of revealing Keith's true power at the end of the video, we will also be finding out what the chances are for someone to be born with every single DNA superpower. So stick around, or I will eat your daughter. <laughs> the next gene is even more powerful. With this gene, you're Wolverine. Hey, that rhymed. People with the LRP5 gene mutation are observed in x-rays and medical scans having bones that are eight times denser than regular bones. Just like how Keith is eight times more dense than regular humans. <laughs> Stop chewing on cords! Basically, it stops the LRP5's ability to tell your body to stop growing your bones, causing bones to grow out of control. There was even an example of a man in 1994 with this mutation that got into a pretty nasty car crash and survived without any bone damage whatsoever. Not even so much as a sprain. The best part is it's possible that you could have this power without even knowing. Imagine the surprise on that guy's face when he found out his bones were nearly unbreakable. Big fat bone syndrome is not without its side effects though. In major cases, it could cause your skull to grow a little too thick, push on nerves, or have a square jaw. Keith, what are you doing? What? Mutation check. Do you have unbreakable bones? It's not exactly known how many people in the world have this mutation, but those who do have a thicker lower jaw, a bony prominence in the roof of your mouth, headaches, possibly some audio or visual damage, or a lack of bone fractures or breaks in their lifespan. Okay, that one was a guess, but I imagine anyone with unbreakable bones probably haven't broken their bones much. If you exhibit any of these symptoms, you might have thick bone syndrome, trademark. That's F-I-C-K, thick. But thick bones isn't even the most rare mutation in this video. That title belongs to the next mutation. And in my opinion, it's by far the coolest. It's the opposite of lava type cool. That's how cool it is. However cool ice is, Roughly a little higher than that on the coolness scale, I would say. Whoa, that's pretty cool. I just said that, Keith. You know what? I was going to talk about something really crazy and super cool, but this boob is getting under my skin. And he's drinking all my stupid juice. And that is for subscribers only. I'm sorry, pal. I'm upgrading your brain. Duh.
The Cloth OVS gene mutation has one of the highest chances of you, the viewer, actually carrying it. Super intelligence. The mutation increases cognitive function and reduces brain aging. It works by increasing the amount of cloth o protein in human blood, which has been shown to improve brain function and even potentially improve connections between neurons. To be clear, this variant of the cloth o gene is a combination of two specific mutations, F352V and C37OS. KLVS's heterozygotcy is particularly associated with these effects. Incidentally, an unexpected but welcome result of the mutations is also slightly improving the lifespan of the host and he was better as a nitwit mutation check do you have super intelligence this one is actually one of the more common mutations of the video statistically one in every five of you watching is carrying the gene and the only way to check if you do is by giving me your blood by which i mean doing a gene test because it's impossible to tell physically let's talk about the rarest power in the video. The cool one I was talking about. Only two people in the world have ever been recorded having the power super healing. If you have it, you're one in a billion. It occurs when there are mutations to both the fa and the fa out genes. These little bastards get rid of your feel good juice. Anatomide. It's responsible not only for extremely fast scarless healing, but also dampens pain reception and just makes you feel great. Without the FA genes getting rid of these miracle chemicals, you become saturated with them, allowing you not only to heal super quickly, but also just not feel the injury in the first place. Keith, how are we feeling, buddy? <laughs> Goopy. Yeah, that super healing is patching you up good. Mutation check. Carriers of this gene exhibit absent-mindedness, staying chill in stressful situations due to those feel-good chemicals. You might see or smell an injury before actually feeling it, and your healing time is typically pretty quick. Now enough super healing. That's nothing compared to- I want red hair! Did you know redheads actually have superpowers? The gene that gives them their red hair also contributes to reduced pain reception. Not that you need any more of that, Keith. Red hair. If you have red hair, you have a mutation to your MC1R gene, which, while messing with your hair pigments, also plays a role in pain reception. Depending on the variant you have, you could feel less pain than the average human. You happy now, Keith? <laughs> oh, red hair. About 30% of the world population holds this mutation. Hey, that rhymed. Hey, we should totally check the probability of someone being born with all of these power. Oh, wait, we are at the end, right after we talk about the most inhuman mutation yet. This one gives you an ability commonly found in fish. The mutation gives you a natural scuba tank. How? The PDE10A gene is responsible for spleen size. The spleen is able to store oxygenated red blood cells. This variant of the gene allows for the hosts to have abnormally large spleens. And it's what allows the Bajau people in the Philippines to die for hours at a time, storing massive amounts of oxygen before going under to hunt or forage. Mutation check. Do you have a natural scuba tank? In the Bajau population, one in three people have the mutation. Outside of the Bajau people, it's a little more rare. Holders of this mutation can only really be discovered with more blood tests. Or if you can hold your breath for more than three minutes underwater, I'd say it's a pretty decent bet. So how powerful is Keith now with all of these mutations? I'll tell you. But first you need to obliterate the subscribe button and tickle the bell icon. The more subscribers, the faster I go full time and the quicker I get uploads to you. The MSTN super muscles gene gives Kevin about double the muscle of an average human. And if he uses it right, double the strength. LRP5 makes his skeleton virtually indestructible. Stronger bones also allow him to lift even heavier without injury. Plus, the man literally can't feel pain and can heal overnight thanks to the magic of the Fa gene mutation. Outsmarting the man isn't much of an option either. 
If that Clotho gene is firing at all cylinders, he should be very clever. Drowning can't work, he'd overpower a trap before he'd run out of oxygen thanks to PDE-10A. And in a fashion show, forget about it. With that red hair, he'll be fabulous. Damn it! He's indestructible. But how likely is it for someone to be born like this? No genetic engineering, just luck. What are the odds that someone watching right now has all of Keith's abilities? MSTN, the Hercules mutation, occurs in about 0.0004% of the population. LRP5, dense bones mutation, occurs in about 2 out of 1,000 people. Both FA and FA out, or super healing, occurs in 0.000025% of people at the very highest. Clotho, or super brain, occurs in 20 to 25%. PDE-10A, underwater breathing, occurs in about 2% of people. MC1R, red hair and pain insensitivity, occur in about 1-2% to of people. So, how many people need to be born to see just one person who carries all six superpowers? You would need 100 quadrillion people. And so far in Earth's history, there has been 117 billion people born. So only 99 quadrillion, 999 trillion, 883 billion left to go.